Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, this is the second video in a series of videos that are designed to refresh um, some college students on how to use the pattern design software in the AccuMark series. Um, this video is going to focus on the modify tool. Um, the modify tab is mostly just to alter lines, alter shapes. It's where you go to um, basically modify your pattern pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go through a few of the tools that we learned how to use. Um, again, just a disclaimer, I put this on my public YouTube. Um, it's meant specifically for my college students, but if you are looking for a short tutorial or a brush up, um, please feel free to watch. Um, just be aware I may teach something in a different way than your teacher, or I may focus on different things in your teacher. So I just wanted to make sure that was said. Okay. So I'm going to start with um, the point actions over here. And as we know, if we look at the title bar below, it'll tell you what all of the um, functions in that little grouping do. So these are all of your point modifications. So single point, if we want to move a single point, um, let's go ahead and grab the corner here, yeah, grab it and see now it'll let me pull. Now, if you remember when I was talking about the intermediate points before and like see how I'm pulling and it gets stuck, it gets stuck at this, I, I can't point to it, but it gets stuck right there. That's probably because there's a point there that we're not seeing because we don't have the intermediate point turned on. Okay, so that's an example of what happens if, if you have an intermediate point where you don't know it is. Okay. I'm going to undo just to bring it back to its regular shape. Um, we can smooth. Oops, apologize. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the smooth function. I'm going to grab this point and position thumb text to define the range and or click left to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And now it's letting me go ahead and move that line. And this is good when you um, have a curved line that needs to be moved because then it's going to keep it curved and it's going to adjust the smoothing as you go. All right, um, another point function. We go ahead and we click and basically does the same thing that single point does. But you can, you can I, I believe you can select multiple points for this one. So let's go ahead and give that a try. We'll hit the control button and we'll click. And we'll click. Oh yeah, yeah, it lets you move multiple points at one time. Cool, okay. Uh, point and a line. This will allow the line to move with your point. And I apologize, it's kind of small. Um, but you can see, you know, I'm going to do it on a different line so you can see it a little bit better. Bring down the jacket piece. I'm actually going to close this and I'm going to close this for right now so we have room to see. I'm going to select, um, I'm going to select the shoulder. And when I click that, see, it allows the line to move with my point, okay? And then smooth is also when you pick a point with a curve. So maybe let's pick this one. And see, it's going to adjust that, that curve as you move and keep things smooth. If you see at the bottom, like the back waist of the jacket, it's smooth there and it's it's kind of keeping that curve. Um, just a reminder here that the program works in a clockwise direction. So anytime you're picking points, you need to be working, going around the pattern piece. So like this, around the clock. If you try to go the other direction, it's going to get confused and you'll get some funky things happening. Okay. Um, we hadn't done notches yet, so we're going to go ahead and, and skip over that portion right now. Um, offset is a great tool. I'm actually going to delete this sleeve uh, so I can piece. Come on. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you offset. We're going to offset with this line here. And this is a great way to like shorten your jacket, lengthen your jacket, lengthen your skirt, lengthen your shirt, whatever you want to do. I lengthened it. Awesome. Um, if we want to move a line, I'm going to select 
that curve right there and oh see it moves it for me and it kind of keep it does its best to keep the integrity of the original pattern piece but sometimes you do still have to go in and kind of fix things um like if you were raising if you're raising this armhole you need to kind of reshape the the actual arms hole itself a little bit because it's going to end up like a funky shape undo um Swap. Swap is a big one that we've done before. So I'm going to hop over to create just because this is how I showed you guys in class. Swap is great if you need to change out a line. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to create myself a new armhole here. Boop. All right. I'm going to make it crazy. All right. We're going to go back to modify and we're going to use the swap tool. And we're going to go ahead and click. There we go. That's swapped. Uh, I think my program is a little funny that it didn't take the uh, seam allowance with it, but um, but on on the computers on campus it should be fine. So undo that. Okay. Um, then let's see what else did we do? Uh, we just did. We didn't really do replace because it's kind of the same thing as swap. Um, rotate a line on a point. So hmm, let's try that guy. I'll go ahead and select it. Yep. You can see it's kind of rotating that line. Okay. So there's that option. Um, other line actions we have are to change the length of a curve. So for some reason we wanted to change the length of this curve. We we'll go ahead, click on the curve. It's asking us for the value input for what we'd like it to change to. So right now it's 23.85 inches. Let's change it to 25. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it moved it in a little bit and it reshaped the curve for us. Um, smooth is is the tool that you use if um, if you've made a curve and it's a little bit funky. You can go ahead and smooth it out. Um, Remember when we were when we were swapping some lines, we had to use the split tool, um, and that was to make sure that the computer didn't swap too much of a line. It was when we were doing the sleeve cap, so just remember that's where your split tool is. Um, we've got the flip tool here, which will. Oops. Select line to flip flip that line. I'm not sure why that one's not working. Okay, well, it should, it should flip. Um, you've also got the rotate tool here. Split, split was a big one that we did. So I'll show you guys how to split. Um, I've got to go back to create again. All right, we're gonna go back to create, two point line. I'm gonna create a line, say from here to here. I'm going to go back to modify. I'm going to split online. I'm going to select. So copy the original. We were doing that just to make sure you still had your original in place in case you needed to go back to it. Um, and then we need to define the seam. Um, define the seam on split line and select internals. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and select this line into the seam allowance value, which is going to be 0.5. This looks, my screen is very small. There we go. And then now we've got Oh, we had to save save each piece by name. That's why it wasn't letting me move it. So now we have two separate pieces to work with if we're splitting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Okay. Set, rotate, two lock pieces together. We didn't really use that in class. Um, 
Again, mirror is if you need to create two symmetrical pattern pieces. Um, but really the big one was split. So that's pretty much what we worked on in the modify tab. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to either email them to me or write them in the comments below. Um, and then stay tuned for the create tab video. Okay, bye-bye.